All right, so we're gonna get into chapter two, which is gonna be going through Java fundamentals. So this is gonna be broken up into a set of videos that goes through a couple of different parts throughout this chapter. Uh, we're gonna be looking at things like the different parts of a Java program, uh, using a very simple example and kind of breaking that down line by line. Uh, we're also gonna take a look in more detail at things like the different data types in Java. Uh, we'll be dealing with math operations, uh, using our numeric data types. Uh, we'll also take a look at how to provide uh, user input so that our programs become more interactive, uh, as well as a couple of other concepts on this uh, fundamental level. So to get started, we'll do a quick breakdown of the parts of a Java program. So we've got a very simple program right here. We've included a comment at the top. We then have our class, our main method, we then have three statements inside of that main method. So we've got a uh, declaration of a string variable that we call message. We then have an assignment. So we're going to assign the string literal hello world to our message variable. Uh, and then we have our print statement. So that system that out that print line and we're giving it the message that we want to print out to the console. So going through each one of these in a bit more detail, uh, the first line is going to be a comment about the program. Uh, as I've mentioned before with comments, these are going to be things that are ignored by the compiler. So in this case, we're using a single line comment, those two slashes, uh, and the comment is going to say, this is a simple Java program. Uh, the next line is going to be the class header. So whenever we create a class in Java that consists of two parts, so we've got our header and then the body of that class. In this case, the class header is going to consist of three words. So we've got the two keywords, public and class. These are going to be things that are reserved by uh, Java. Uh, we also have the programmer defined name, hello. So we got to choose what we are going to call this class. Uh, the keyword public is going to indicate that other files may use this class. Uh, eventually, we'll get into more complex programs that use multiple files. And at that point, we'll start to see a bit more relevancy with this public keyword. Uh, the line that follows that class header is going to be an opening curly brace. That's meant to indicate that we are at the start of the body of this class. So then going into the body of the class, uh, the next part we're going to have is going to be the uh, method header for the main method. So just like our classes, uh, when we work with the main method, that also has two parts. It has a header and a body. Uh, this is going to consist of several parts that will be elaborated on later, uh, but to briefly introduce each of these different parts, uh, we've got uh, what are known as the method modifiers. So that's going to use some more keywords, public and static. Uh, we also have the return type. It's going to be void. Uh, and then we have the method name. It's going to be main. And finally, we have the pr uh, parameters surrounded by that pair of parentheses. And in this case, it's going to be string, that pair of brackets, and then args. Uh, and we'll also explain a little bit more about uh, precisely what that means as well. So similar to the class body, we're going to have an opening curly brace to indicate the start of the main methods body. Uh, the first two statements of the main method are things that I've already covered previously. So the first line is gonna be our string uh, variable declaration. We're calling it message. The second line is gonna be our assignment where we're assigning that string literal hello world to message. Uh, so if we or to describe that using that box analogy. Uh, essentially, we're going to create a box whose shape and size is meant to hold strings. We're putting a label on that box called message, and then we're putting inside of that box the contents, hello world. And then the last line of the main method is gonna be known as a, uh, is what is known as a method call. So this is how other methods are executed. So besides the main method, there are actually going to be other methods that we can use. These other methods are going to be coming from the uh, existing classes or existing libraries that are given by uh, given to us because we have that Java programming uh, language. Uh, so in addition to our keywords, uh, we have those other classes and methods that are available in what is known as the Java application programming interface or just Java API. Uh, the Java API is just a large collection of commonly used features. Uh, the primary purpose of it is to help simplify writing programs for you. So rather than having to go and uh, essentially reinvent the wheel, 
uh, having to implement some complex code to be able to display something on the console window uh, or to be able to perform any other tasks that uh, you would typically expect in a program. Uh, the Java programmers just made a method that would do all of that for you. So they've already handled uh, implementing this uh, print line method. All you have to do is just call it, or just use it. So the line that we're looking at right here is uh, using the print line method of the system class. So you can see at the very beginning of that line, you see that word system, the capital S. So that indicates that we're actually going to get this method from another file, another class, somewhere in that Java API. Uh, similar to the parentheses surrounding the parameters for the main method, we have another pair of parentheses surrounding message in our method call to print line. So uh, to describe this in more technical language, we would say that we are passing message to print line. So whenever you talk about putting something in those parentheses for a method call, you would say that you are passing that uh, variable, or maybe passing that value to that method. Uh, so in this way, this is telling the print line method uh, precisely what it is that we want to print to the console. And then finally, at the end of this program, are gonna be the closing curly braces. So the first of these is going to indicate the end of the main methods body, and then the second is going to indicate the end of the hello classes body. So we'll go ahead and minimize these slides for a moment and come back over to NetBeans. So we can go ahead and take a look at this other program, uh, this other version of hello that we worked on. Uh, so we can see each one of those different statements here. Uh, one other thing I'll note, since this is included as well, uh, at the very top of this, we have this package statement. So you see the package keyword right here. You then see the name of the package right here that our file is inside of. So this is primarily just here to be able to distinguish uh, the exact location of this file. Uh, usually whenever you create a new project in NetBeans, uh, this is just gonna be done automatically for you. So you don't really have to worry too much about that line. Uh, at some point uh, in more complex programs, this comes much later, uh, we can go into more detail about the usefulness of this package statement. But for now, you can pretty much ignore that uh, so the first thing we have right here is our class header. So we have public class hello, just like the example from the slides. We then have that opening curly brace. And if we put the cursor over it, you can actually see it uh, highlighting the closing curly brace that goes with it. So it's fairly easy to keep track of uh, where these pairs are located in your programs. Uh, you might also notice this extra little bar that it provides on the side here. It kind of denotes how one is connected to the other. You can also see the same thing with this pair of uh, curly braces for the main method. Uh, and again, you can also see this. Uh, this little portion right here, you can go ahead and ignore that. That's meant to minimize it, uh, but you don't, when you're working with these, you don't really wanna be doing that. That's primarily for very large programs, uh, but we're not gonna be dealing with anything so large that you would have to worry about doing that. Uh, the next line in here, our next meaningful line was our main methods header. So we've got public static void main. We then have that pair of parentheses, and then we have string, pair of brackets, and args. Uh, for this particular program, we included a few extra variable declarations to be able to demonstrate secure declarations and assignments. Uh, we've got comments right here, so we can see those being used in our program. Uh, in this case, we're using the pair of uh, that pair of slashes to indicate a just a single line comment that we're putting at the end after our statement for each one of these variable declarations. Uh, down here we can see a couple of lines that match up with the example from the slides. So we've got that string message, uh, this variable declaration here. We then have our variable assignment, so assigning hello world to message, and we then have this print statement here telling the console that we want to print out the, uh, phrase, uh, the phrase that is inside of message, so print out that string. So then of course, if you run it, since we're calling this method right here, this is the one that's going to result in some output to the console. So we can see it displaying right there, that phrase, hello world. So going into the next video, I want to start taking a look at uh, this print line method, as well as the print method in a little bit more detail.